Okay, so now let's take a look in greater detail of the crystallography considerations for modern side phase transformation. Okay, so what we know is that at the higher temperature phase, the gamma phase of the austenite for iron is in the structure of FCC or phase centered cubic uh, structure. So what we have here it shows part of a unit cell for the FCC structure um, iron. We have x direction, y direction, and z direction. And we would have atoms represented by these open circles at the corner here, 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 and so and so called phase center here, here, here. Of course, for simplicity, we omitted some additional atoms, but essentially what we show here are two neighboring FCC unit cell joined together by this plane. Okay, and of course we would have different uh, directions, uh, crystallography directions and different crystallography planes. Okay, the distance from the origin to this location on x or from origin to this location on y or from origin to this location on z are all the same of a gamma representing the lattice parameter for the gamma phase fc ion or the fcc ion okay well on the other hand the distance from here to here from the corner to face center from corner to face center will be given as a gamma divided by square root of two. Okay, because it is half of the phase center, half of the phase center. Well, the phase diagonal is square root of two times a gamma and half of it becomes a gamma divided by square root of two. Okay, so that's kind of the basic understanding for the unit cell structure for the higher temperature gamma phase or the austenite for iron before the phase transformation, before the modern side phase transformation. Okay, and then from crystallography for FCC ion, we know that A gamma or the lattice parameter for this FCC or gamma phase ion is 3.56 Armstrong, 3.56 Armstrong, which is the distance from the one corner to another corner, to the neighboring uh, corner, okay? And in addition, the distance from the, for the phase diagonal, the distance for the phase diagonal, for example, this from one corner to the phase diagonal along this minus one, zero, one direction is square root of two times the uh, lattice parameter or a gamma, which turned out to be 1.414 times 3.56 Armstrong, which give us roughly 5.03 Armstrong, okay? Then we said in order for the modern side uh, transformation to happen, we would need a close matching of the close packing direction as well as the close packing plane. What it means is that the close packing direction arrangement atoms in those close packing directions before the phase transformation in the FCC or gamma ion should match the closed packing direction in the body centered tetragonal or the alpha prime phase after the modern side phase transformation. Okay? And not only that, the closed packing plane in FCC or gamma phase, it would be the 111 types of plane would also match the close packing plane in the BCT or the modern side phase.
Okay, so that's the conditions in order for the phase transformation, this modern side phase transformation to occur. And then, as we illustrated, from one corner to the opposite corner on the same crystal plane give us the phase diagonal and the, for FCC from here to here that will be the close packing direction and the FCC the 111 types of plane for example this blue shaded plane would be the close packing plane okay and we said between the new phase the BCT of a prime phase and the old phase, which is the gamma or FCC um, phase, they should have match of the closed packing direction and closed packing plane. So, for simplicity, let's assume the direction is the same from the old gamma phase to the new BCT phase. The direction remains the same. The interatomic spacing along this closed packing direction is also remains the same okay so which is not surprising in fcc the atoms are touching each other along this uh 101 type of directions and for the bct its body is centered tetragonal and uh, the close packing direction is actually for the body diagonal in such a uh, body center tetragonal structure. So if we know this is a closed packing direction, we can reconstruct the unit cell for such a BCT structure. Just to keep in mind that the mind 101, in this case actually 1 bar 0 1, which is this sig dashed arrow direction would be parallel to the similar close packing direction in the BCT or alpha prime phase. Okay, and with that, because we know this is the close packing direction in the BCT, and we know that BCT the close packing direction is along the body diagonal we can reconstruct easily this entire unit cell and uh, we mentioned earlier when the carbon concentration is low this bct structure is actually pretty close to the body center cubic structure with just a slight elongation along the z prime direction okay or c direction and then about the closed packing plane in the FCC, of course, it would be these types of 111 plane, and here we are drawing only half of it. And for the BCT structure, In this BCT structure, the closed packing plane would be along the blue shaded plane as illustrated here. And in this particular case, the plane would be 0, 1, 1 plane. 0, 1, 1 means it will be parallel to the x prime uh, axis, but with intercept 1 in the y prime axis and intercept one in the z prime axis so the original one 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 plane would uh, be parallel to the zero one one plane in the bct structure okay and then we said it's close packing in the fcc structure along the face diagonal and it's also close packing in the body diagonal in the BCT structure, which means the distance does now change from here to here, which we gave is 5.03 M would be the same as from body diagonal for the BCT structure from here to here. So 
in this case, the distance along the body diagonal of this one, one bar, one direction is still the 5.03 Armstrong, and we know it's roughly the square root of 3 times the lattice parameter. If we assume this BCT takes the equivalent of a pseudo cubic structure, because we mentioned it's tetragonal, which means it's slightly longer in the C direction or Z prime direction versus A and B versus X prime and then Y prime. But this distortion is small and we can simulate it and say pseudo cubic, like a cubic. Okay, and then from here we can calculate the so called pseudo cubic lattice parameter for this body center tetragonal to be the distance for body diagonal divided by the square root of 3, which turned out to be 2.90 Armstrong, which means roughly for this body center tetragonal. The lattice parameter, if it's simulated with a very close uh, resembling pseudo cube, each of the sides, the cube edge length is roughly 2.90 and strong. Okay, with that in mind, now let's consider from the FCC or gamma phase to the BCT or alpha prime phase. Phase diagonal matches body diagonal, and then in the original z direction, which has an initial separation of a gamma, but now in the new structure, they have to shrink a little bit because initially it's a gamma, which is 3.56, but now from here to here, edge length is 2.90. Armstrong. So if they have to shrink, at the same time they have to tilt a little bit. Shrink from how much? From A gamma, from A gamma, which is 3.56 Armstrong, to C of a prime, this distance, which is approximately the same as the pseudo cubic unit cell, which turned out to be 2.84. Armstrong, okay, and uh, at the same time, the C a prime alpha prime would be the roughly approximately the pseudo cubic lattice parameter for if we are using a cube to s to emulate this body center tetragonal, okay, and then about uh, in this basal plane, the x prime direction, x prime direction, the initial distance from the corner to face center is a gamma divided by square root of two. Okay, a gamma divided by square root of two, and it's actually going to request expansion along this x prime direction, and similarly from corner to face center along y prime direction, it also initial distance is a gamma divided by square root of two. It also has to expand somewhat. So in, in essence, along these both x prime and y prime direction, they have to expand. At the same time, they will need to tilt somewhat from the original value, which is a gamma divided by square root of 2, which is equivalent to square root of 2 over 2 times a gamma, which turned out to be 2.52 Armstrong to the new value, which is the pseudo cubic edge length, which is around 2.84 Armstrong. Okay, so they have to x bind in this x prime and y prime direction as well as do a little bit tilting from 2.52 Armstrong to 2.84 Armstrong. Well, along the z direction, it has to shrink from a gamma, which is 3.56 Armstrong, 
through the pseudocubic edge length approximately 2.84, maybe slightly longer because the C direction would be a little bit longer. But along X prime and Y prime, it shrinked to A alpha prime around 2.84 Armstrong, and for the other one, it's the same. Okay? And these are the kind of a quick summary of the consideration of simple crystallography for modern side phase transformation. With that, it keeps the closed packing direction, roughly keep the closed packing plane, but then the other crystal directions, the dimension has to change. Along the Z prime, it shrinks, tilt. Along the X prime and Y prime, it expands and also tilt. Okay, and the last stop here.